So yeah. that is Grew the Game Second Edition. What do we think, fellas? You know, I like that uh, if you played this game when you were younger, you can play it again and really feel like it grew up with you. But um, wow, Damn. get out! <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I I think it it does what it spoke. It's like you know, it's just a card game that you know. It's got enough randomness and enough, like, it f***s you as much as your friends f*** each other, you know, that, <laughs> that it kind of, it balances out really solidly. It's actually, I'm surprisingly good game. It is a surprisingly yeah. good game, and it only gets better when you throw down that minstrel card. Yeah. 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 I'm, wondering, the, I'm wondering if honestly, there's, like, more, like, if the, there are more fun card effects the in there. Minstrel, the minstrel card was the best part of this <laughs> game, where James had to speak in rhyme for like a full round and a half before he accidentally lost it. Yeah. So you're saying and you're, you're giving me a, a Gru head and a sack. Is this correct? It's true as long as that's Gru. Get oh, it. is that a rule on the card? You may double the attack or defense of any troop card in your army. If you speak without rhyming, he has to discard the card. <laughs> that's <laughs> f***ed up. That's f***ed Incredible. Up. If I speak in verse, it gets worse. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. no. All right, James. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have three of what used to be a tree? <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking hard about that one. Damn. <laughs> Doing great. All right, yeah, no, I'm, I'm impressed. Excellent work. Excellent By the work. end of this game, he's going to be like full limericks. <laughs> <laughs> but this, yeah, I, I had fun with it. It's it's silly. It's got a little more game to it than I was expecting from a 1997 yeah. card yeah. game. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's there's some mechanics at play with this that are that kind of feel more mo like ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. old board game. I wonder if... If they ch uh, change the rules, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe because it is, yeah, it's a second it's, edition that just came out. Yeah, because like uh, old board games usually are bad because they didn't <laughs> know how to make board games yeah. back then. Yeah. Uh, it turns out once they figured out video games, going back, they were like, "Oh, that's how you f do it, <laughs> yeah, right?" <laughs> oh, roll to move is bad and not fun, <laughs> right? Damn. It's uh, like, on my turn, I do nothing because I rolled the two. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's, I loved that minstrel card. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not seeing anything else that that You're does anything like that. But, never existed. but there's still like there's a whole lot of effects that come into play. Like there's a lot of randomness, a lot of screw your neighbor. Involved yeah. in this game, which I think is like it's it's chaos and it's fun. Yeah, I do wonder is there like a like for any experienced Gru the game players out there? Is there like a a move like a strategy thing, right? Because you know, if you play like Secret Hitler enough, you kind of like figure out oh okay that's what a Hitler would do, right? You know, but with this, it sort of feels like you can't really. I mean, even with something like Catan or anything else, where you're trying to accumulate victory yeah. points. There are like very specific things you can do to assure victory. This In one, this, no, it seems really like there's know. so yeah. much randomness involved. Yeah, because yeah. like you could be close to close to victory, and then a, you might have brew, and somebody has the this brew destroys all, all your buildings. buildings. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Like I was setting up, I was like I, in. Any second now, someone, as soon as somebody like accumulates too much, I'm gonna rip them apart. And then you drew the card, the event card. It was like, <laughs> use all your Gru cards to get yourself. And I was like, well, that <laughs> fucks me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there really is yeah. like a few things where it's like there's no coming back from this. Yeah, there. Well, there's a lot of like it's it feels like there's there's a little bit of strategizing you can do based on what you're getting, but yeah. you are really just at the whim of the cards and the dice yeah. mm -hmm. throughout the whole game, which. Like there's there's a certain beauty to that. That's, yeah, yeah, I love that. That's it, it's it's balanced in that way. Uh, you know, randomness is good when it's like not overbearing, and I think yeah. it's yeah. just the right amount of randomness. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's uh, and it's quick and short enough that yeah. the, that being at the whim of the randomness works. Yeah. If it were if if it were a, a slog to try and get to twenty points or something, yeah, right. if it was a multi-day game of Axis right. Allies, we might be a yeah, little bit no, grumpy like, with it. Yeah, like but... it's it's just the right length for that kind of chaotic gameplay. I think it I think it works really well. Uh, I think it's interesting that we were kind of talking about this before the show, how there's like this this 
Russian nesting doll effect <laughs> happening with this game. Because inside the box was a box full of cards, some dice, and a bag that has no effect on gameplay, so must just be an alternative storage receptacle for maybe, the game. Yeah, maybe it's for holding the dice if you want to, like... Keep the dice from hitting the or cards? Or if you want to, because so they're so hard to roll, maybe roll them out in the bag? Oh, yeah, or yeah. Like, or just take out? Yeah. We were commenting on that, like, this is, these are, these dice are so chonky, and, and there's so many of them, and we you kind of have to use two hands yeah. to roll yeah. them. Yeah. Like, some of us have some pretty big hands, and it's still, and it's, it's still kind of difficult. Brag about it, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, picking up se seven hefty d6s in one hand is... Not an easy feat, really. I feel like there was a simpler solution if the the designers of Grew the Game are listening. I think there is a simpler solution to the problem of having difficult dice to roll than a bag, and that's make smaller dice. <laughs> right? No, I yeah. don't think that would work. I just I think like and hey, material costs. You're saving on yeah. those. No, so. I don't I don't get it. They're they are easy to see, and it is though, and it is a, a very small, simple game. Yeah. So to have that. Element there. where so much of the game revolves around what dice are available. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I think it's it's a very simple little game. It, it's it's got enough game to it, and it's all chaos, just chaotic fun. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, yeah, that was, fun. It was good, good stuff. Hey, thanks for checking out BNB Tabletop, the home of the board and barrel. A live show every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific, where me and my buddies play board games. If you haven't seen it, you're missing out. We like to keep things interactive with our buff and nerf house rules that allow you to influence the course of the game, and virtual bingo cards that could win you a free board game of your own. So do us a favor, do yourself a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ding that notification bell. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll see you Sunday night.